Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Check if a number has two adjacent setbacks. The problem statement is, given a number, you have to check whether there is a pair of adjacent setbacks or not. For example, if the input n is equal to 67, the output is yes. As you can see in its binary form, it has consecutive ones. Another example is 5. Its output is no as it does not have any consecutive ones. Let's see how to solve this problem. An efficient solution is to sift number by 1 and then do bitwise AND. If bitwise AND is non-zero, then there are two adjacent setbacks, else not. For any binary sequence which does not have any consecutive ones, then each one in the binary sequence will have only zero as its neighboring bit. When we right sift it by 1, then each one is replaced by its neighboring zero in all cases. As you can see here, I have highlighted all the positions which has set bits. After doing right shift operation by one, all the set bit position now has zero. And it is true for all binary sequence which does not have consecutive ones. And when we perform AND operation of these two sequences, we get zero as a result. Now, for any binary sequence which has one or more pair of consecutive ones, on doing right shift, it will be replaced by a neighboring one. As you can see here, we have a pair of consecutive ones and all positions are highlighted which has one. After doing right shift operation by one, you can see we still have a set bet at one's position and this will be true for all other cases which has consecutive ones. When we perform AND operation of these two sequences, we get non-zero number. As you can see here. Let's see the code for the same. In the main function, we call adjacent set function and pass the value of n. In the adjacent set function, first we write shift n by one position and then perform AND operation on n and modified n and return the result. The time complexity of this approach is O of 1 and the space complexity of this approach is also O of 1. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.